What's up guys, welcome to New Hush Life Vlog. I'm in Salt Lake. The guys are actually on the road driving back from New Mexico right now. And I'm at our warehouse. So if you guys have been following along, which I'm sure most of you have, we got new flannels in. They have finally launched on the website. I have not seen them all in person, so I thought it'd be a good idea to come down here and show you guys all the colorways. We have four of them, by the way. But show them to you on camera so you can get a better idea of exactly how the colors look and maybe how they fit. I need to get myself some, by the way. This is just a sample. So I'm gonna go get myself uh, one of each color and I'll show you guys exactly how they look. Can't believe Best Season Yet 4.0 has kicked off. If you guys missed the first video, which is from Alaska, go to our channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, by the way. Uh, that way you'll get notifications, hit the notification bell. But the first video of Best Season Yet 4.0 launched yesterday what's up and uh it's a good one caribou hunting alaska i got the goods as you can see i have three colorways here the gray the brown black and the green black i'll unfold them i'll go to my house and unfold them for you show you guys what's up i'm um, also got a white tail hat in the spectra camouflage from first light for my buddy okay i made it to the garage gotta turn the music off though copyright copyright um, let me show you these flannels. So this one is a sample. I think I said that already, but it's very true to the color red and black Probably the top seller already is red and black and I think the next one is Gray and black and then I would say green and then that one. But anyways all four of them are really cool colors Let me show you what the gray one looks like on and then I also want to show you this set of elk sheds that I found in one of our shed tour videos. It was an old chalky set. Those of you who follow the shed hunts will recognize it for sure. And I just got it back from McKay Sorensen and he repaired them for me. So I wanna show you those two before I uh, end my portion of the vlog. All right, so this is graphite and black. This is probably my favorite. The best thing about these flannels, guys, is the stretch. These are these are not your ordinary flannel. Check that out. So I like that because from the back, typically flannels are very tight across your shoulders, but because you got a stretch, it's comfortable. Heck, you can shoot your bow, hang out at camp, maybe a night out on the town in these bad boys. Same cut, different colors. So graphite and black, this is a large on me. I wear large in t-shirts. People are asking me in my DMs, I just answered one, what size should I get? And I would just say they're very true to size. That's a large. It's been fun to see the orders come in. A lot of people have been excited for them. Some people buying one of each. So thank you guys who have already ordered. And don't forget that it's the last chance to get in for the ultimate hunt camp giveaway, which includes the truck. Every purchase on our website now through November 3rd is gonna get you entered to win the ultimate hunt camp giveaway, which includes the Toyota Tundra B-Max old truck, which is a super nice truck in nearly mint condition. I'm so sad to see it going because I kind of been driving around a little bit in town, but someone's gonna win that with the jumping jack trailer, some Yeti stuff and some Camp Chef stuff. So make sure you go to our website, gethushin.com. Check out the flannels, elk game bags are in stock and the, there's a whole bunch of new hats and stuff. But before I let you go, I told you, I'm gonna show you this set, so check these out. And if you're really good at remembering, you'll remember that they were chalk, which means they were old, laying out there for years, and they had really been weathered, and they were starting to crack, and some of the points were actually breaking off. And McKay Sorensen of TrapperManAntlers.com fixed them up for me. He does antler repair and reproductions. He absolutely killed it. What's up, dude? What's up? Shooting the Hush Life vlog. Nice. And here's the other side. So I haven't scored them, but I did score them before they got fixed. And I knew that once they were fixed, he's actually going to be pushing just over 380, which is wild because he's actually pretty compact. He doesn't have super long main beams. But you can see from the front right there, those extras, they really add up. And those long thirds really add up. But just a stud bull. And I actually think... I'm going to put them on a shoulder mount from my dad's cape because these, because they are repaired, they shouldn't be handled a lot. So I figured one good way to handle them or not handle them is to put them on a mount. 
So that's another excuse for me to mount one of these giants. I've never mounted a set of sheds, but I always wanted to. And these ones just might be the first. So I thought I'd show you guys. Let me know, you guys like them? Think they look good? And should I mount them? Drop a comment. So my buddy's here to help me out with uh, the Dog Chew Company. What's going on guys? So he always helps me cut in sand and maybe today we might go do a couple random acts of kindness. We've got some money saved up from our tip jar on that website. Um, so we might go do some fun things tonight. But anyways, I'm gonna pass the vlog off or just end the video depending on how we edit this. So it might go to Logan or it might just end right now. Either way, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you get entered in on the truck giveaway or the camp giveaway. And yeah, we'll see you guys on the next video. We vlogging? Is this live? Did I pick my nose? I don't know what you're doing. Awesome. I don't know how much should I say, Matt? How much should I let them know? I don't, I don't think very much. Well, all I should say is that we're in New Mexico. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I had an elk tag. Have an elk tag. I have an elk tag. Uh, today is day two of the hunt, and we're in an Airbnb. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all that has to be said. Why aren't we out on the mountain, Matt? Leave it up to their imagination. You guys think about it, okay? Leave it in the comments. Why are we sitting in an Airbnb today and not hunting on the mountain? Day two of the hunt. I don't know. I don't know. Go ask. Go ask Brian. See what his thoughts are. Well, I mean, clearly we're in this Airbnb because we can cook pizzas in an oven. We actually have a hot tub too, but that's beside the point. Guys, if you've been following along in the vlogs, you know that we have been uh, on an elk hunt. We gave away an elk hunt. Our lucky winner, Adam, and his father, Dean, drove all the way out from New York to meet us to go chase elk in New Mexico. It's been a pretty fun week. So Adam was getting guided by Compass West Outfitters, our good friends there. Mike, his son, Corey, were helping out. And then I also had a tag. Our tag was like a do-it-yourself tag, and so it was just uh, like a rotation. We were rotating to have as many people hunt with Adam as we could, and then usually a guy or two would come out with me, and overall, it's been a fun week. And then Lucky Logie Bear, he drew his very first elk tag, so uh, that's kind of happening too. If you uh, just saw what Eric showed you, you know that we are also giving away my old truck. November 3rd is the last day. It is double entries week. Sure, you've heard it a million times now, but every dollar you spend equals two automatic entries. We're gonna give away and announce the winner probably the week of November 12th. And then that one lucky person will, will be in touch with them and we'll arrange for them to come pick up the trailer, the truck, the Yeti, the Camp Chef stuff, and they'll be driving back to their home fully loaded with over $50,000 in a prize package. So, pretty amazing. Besides that, best season yet, four just dropped. Casey can tell you more about a BSY4, but thanks for following along in the vlogs. I'm gonna eat the rest of this pizza and uh, we'll catch you guys next week. Hit me, bam. Guys, what's up? Uh, like Brian just said, BSY4 just went live yesterday. So you probably, if you haven't watched, you wanna go check it out. We're kind of doing things a little bit differently. If you guys know and followed along with the channel, best season yet, one was three years ago, four years ago, and we had a video every day for 80 plus days straight. Some people didn't like that we showed like non-hunting days. Anyway, we've kind of like adjusted this thing over the years and uh, we think you're gonna like it this year. It's gonna be a lot of hunting action coming right at you. We've got a lot of cool hunts we've, we've captured this year. So make sure you go back and watch yesterday's video. It's something we've been wanting to do for a long, long time. We went caribou hunting in Alaska, which was absolutely phenomenal. So go watch that and uh, look forward to the, all the content we're gonna have rolling out to you guys this year. Oh, what do you want, Luke? Come over here, just give him a sneak peek. Just a quick one, quick sneak peek. That's it, that's it, that's all you get. You ready? Yep. You want to focus, Sweet. Yeah, that would've been one hell of a pack out last night for us three dudes. Oh, man. <laughs> And that is what you get, ladies and gentlemen. We threw two little sneak peek clips there at the end, but uh, that's going to wrap up the vlog for today. So like Eric said, double entries week. Time's crunching down. Somebody's got to win that truck and trailer combo. So if you haven't already, make sure your name is inside of the hat. If you're not, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, 
TikTok. Matt's the man of myth legend behind our TikTok. Get hushing, Instagram and TikTok. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.